Hello. Empty nester at night. Got my Pendleton on. Keep me warm because I ain't got no man. And that's just fine. When I get one, I'll get one. And it'll be the right one. And he will love me for all my eccentricities and all of my <laughs> odd behavior because I am who I am. Anyways, so tonight I was invited um, with a friend. We've been going to different places and uh, this guy, he owns a restaurant and it was his birthday. So they asked us to come out because they want us to do some like country line dancing. So go out there and I could take my new kid. And, uh, so it was like an hour drive home from the venue and I had a rock star. And so I'm like, awake, hello, I've got all kinds of things on my mind uh, and I'm not tired and it's not super duper late, but <laughs> you know, I'm used to coming home at four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning for the last, like, I don't know, like three months. I've just been going and you know the last uh, month I knew that you know that my foster care was going to um, be here so I was like let's go out and play look at this one hair do I even care I mean this is kind of how my day has been look at that you know boop look like a quail but anyways so I went out and I, I went running around with my friends and we'd stay out till three four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and then I'd have to get up two hours later and go to work I'm like girl you know hello how old do you think you are you're not 20 anymore uh, <laughs> drag my ass the next day to work you know, make the money I had to make and then go home and do it again the next night <laughs> It was hella fun, but and now I have to slow my roll and I have to be a responsible parent. Oh, but at least I got a little bit of dancing in tonight. And, uh, you know, they had some traditional Greek dancing and, uh, and, you know, my child was able to see a different culture. They were like, why do they do that? I was like, it's like Mexicans and their pinatas. Yeah, they hit pinatas and Greek people break dishes and yell, opa. So it was pretty cool. I thought that was fun. So life, you know what I'm learning? I'm learning that being a single parent is hard. I have to drive my kids 16 miles two times. I have to go four times a day. You know, I know it's what I signed up for and I'm not complaining, but you know, I take my hat off, my blonde hair bangs off to single moms, single dads, you know, it's hard. And I'm just saying, you know, like timing and scheduling and all that other stuff. Like, I'm going to get in the game again. I'm like, wow. But you know what? This is what I signed up for. And I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And uh, please, please, don't get me wrong. It's not a complaint. That's, I'm really, I'm enjoying it. Um, but it's hard getting organized. It's hard, you know, I got to get her up. I was like, oh my God, I can't sit here. I can't lay here and watch and go through my Instagram for an hour. Oh my God, I got to get up. I got to get in the other room. So I need to wake them up and then get my day going. And then my work schedule. Luckily, I have a flexible schedule. I run my own business, so I'm able to do this. Otherwise, if I had a structured, I had to be at work nine, five. It would be really hard for me to do this, you know. But single parents, take my hat off to you because this is hard. So... Yeah, that's been a lot. I'm glad I'm yawning. This means that I might fall asleep. And I won't be up all night. And the rock star won't kick my ass tomorrow, you know? But, um, yeah, the single parent thing, still no dating thing, which is, I'm fine with. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to, if the universe conspired with me to you know, do this dream of foster care, it'll conspire with me when it's time for me to read them, meet the right mate who will, you know, take the whole package, take me and what I'm doing in my life and, you know, my weirdness and my eccentricities, you know, my, my music and all my quirks and I'll be able to do the same with them. So I'm not even tripping anymore. I used to trip. I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm not going to have anyone in my life. And after going through man after man after man after man, I'm like, you know, it's like after you, <laughs> a whole bunch of M&Ms, you're like, is this the freaking M&M? Or you've had a whole bunch of meat and you're like, 
<laughs> it's just another slab of meat. It's just another man. It's just another man. They all starting to smell the same. I smell testosterone. Maybe that one had a little bit of estrogen in him. <laughs> I had one guy, I gotta tell the story at the end. I had one guy went on a date and uh, he was like, he talked me on the phone. I'm not even talking to him no more, but he was all like, oh girl, that was cray cray. I told you guys that one, but that one just hit me in the back of the head. I remember that. Girl, that's cray cray. No, no, okay. But anyways, they're all starting to smell the same. All the men are starting to smell the same. They're all starting to look the same. They're all starting to be the same. They're all starting just man, 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 man. And I'm not seeing the forest for the trees. I think I'm seeing all forest. And I'm not seeing any trees. And I'm, I'm just not. It's just not happening for me. So I'm just going to let the universe conspire and bring the white right one around and I'll just live my single life, single parent, doing my thing, kind of thing, thing. Well, anyways, empty nest right at night. Be good. I'm going to go take a shower and hopefully I can go to sleep.